Well, this is Sealy Lake Park. I've been here once before. I thought I had uploaded a video about it, but I must have called it something different than the name of the park, so... And this trail apparently loops all the way around the lake, but I only know this entrance, so I don't know what, how it looks when it's coming out of it. But. It's just a trail going around a lake. As you can hear or maybe see, I don't know if you can see it with this uh, wide of an angle, but uh, there's a street right next to us, so... I should have darkened it a little bit. I was just wanting to get out of the, the jogger's way, though, so... Good to know that it's actually getting used, though, because... The last time I was here, it was, uh... It had a lot of homeless people at it, with shopping carts and uh, lots of garbage. And I had read on the reviews of this place, because I hadn't been here for a while, um, people were saying it's been cleaned up for the most part. So I'm like, okay. Still a couple of reviews saying, you know, somewhat recently that it's it's still not that great, but the fact that there were even some at all that said it's not that bad. Made me want to go, hey, let's check this out again, so. And we can record until the battery goes dead, right? Because I didn't recharge from the last trip. This area was certainly cut down, wasn't it? Now you used to really get no view of the street, really, from here before. It was all filled in. So that kind of surprised me. It's a little brighter. Let's try that.
And knock it up one more. Beautiful dogs. Yeah. You don't see full size poodles very often. Wow, they really, really cut into this place. When you look around, there's just all these, all these piles of uh, debris from where they cut everything down. But uh, I guess I could understand that based off of the. Uh, Well, I'm not going to go down that trail. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage down that. And someone wandering aimlessly in the background, so... Huh, I, I'd never been to this... And this far on the trail, I was usually looking at some of the areas before, and there used to be some, uh, there used to be a trail that would lead off into the swamp. And, uh, that's kind of where I explored last time, so. Make sure of something. All right. You know, at the time that I made the other video, I was more into going to places that you have these small little... Everything was about the trails that aren't really official yet, you know. Uh, there's a better way to word that, but... Trails that are newly created or barely known about. The trails that are less traveled. And I didn't think anyone would be interested in a uh, video of just going through regular places. Man, the way this is cut down, I don't know what to think. Um, but I'm glad people can enjoy just some of these parks for what they're meant to be.
There's a bit of self-reflection going on there, too. So many of the ways that I live my life was about trying to do something different, try to come up with a different way. Look at everything f from an alternative of the way we're taught we're supposed to think and approach things. You know, and I've been that way with just so many things. Even the way I play games, or used to play games, was all about modding, hacking, doing things with the game that it wasn't originally designed to do. I mean, once in a while you could run into a, an Easter egg by poking around like that, but for the most part it's what the game wasn't designed to do. Looking at the chaos that plays out when you have a, a game try to reference something else in memory as a level or a weapon or some other element, the, the way the game plays and you mix up some, some other code in there, you tell it to go, no, don't look there, look here instead, and the chaos that plays out. And that's what made the game fun to play, was seeing how much chaos you could create in, in its engine. But I, I've had a hard time... Oh, that's a pretty trail going up. Um, I've had a hard time being comfortable with just going with the flow. Taking a common path. Now granted, it's... It's allowed me to... Huh, It's allowed me to think outside the box in a number of areas. But lately in my life I'm just questioning a lot of how how productive was that way of thinking in my life. Where did it get me? So I find myself looking upon more traveled roads. More traveled trails. Focusing more on what everyone has in common. All right, this goes just rolls right behind an apartment complex.
I'm sometimes a little jealous of people who are just... You're, you, people who can continually develop a larger and larger vocabulary and always get it right and always know the right words to say to describe a concept. Wow, right, right up next to apartments. Um, yeah, that'd be weird to have a trail right at the right in an apartment like that. And then there's people who can so easily like memorize names. I mean, I can memorize dates. I've usually been pretty good with the dates of things. I can, you can show me a piece of entertainment, show me some short clips of it, and I can usually tell you, especially with music, when it was made, just by the way that it was produced. I could have never heard the song, but if I hear these telltale signs of music production on it, man, just right up against the, an apartment. It's so weird. She didn't know there were, man, it's just weird. It just throws me off. I mean, it'd be nice for the people that live there. I can just go on a nice jog or a little bit of a nature walk just right outside the door. Hello again. You know, trying to think about what people have in common doesn't seem to be on the agenda for a lot of people. That's unfortunate. That's just a trip right up against more properties. Of course, I don't know what this building is. But it's weird running into that lady again. I mean, she takes some different route that I didn't know about, and then come back around so she could run into run across me again. 
here's some graffiti. What do we got here? Oops, wrong way. I just don't know what that building is. Okay, I guess I've looped around. Didn't expect it to be here so soon, and well, there we go. We've walked around the lake. So, until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>